evening and welcome to the 2021 Don Bosco Scholarship Celebration. Thank you, Danielle, for that beautiful performance during our pre-show. During, My name is Victoria Riley and I'm a 2013 grad of DBCR. My name is Mia Stansel, also from the class of 2013. The best to ever do it. You know it. Since graduating, we've been really busy. Mia received her undergraduate degree in social work from Morgan State University and a master's degree in social work from Loyola University, Chicago. Now she's working for DC Child and Family Services doing amazing work as a social worker, giving so much back to the community and helping others, something I know was inspired by her time at Don Bosco. I also have to give her a shout out. She recently bought her first home. And Vicki the birthday girl got her <laughs> undergraduate degree from the illustrious Georgetown University with a degree in women's studies and government. Y'all, this is beauty and the brains. This is what we're talking about. She is now a paralegal for McCullum Firm in Maryland where she uses her amazing abilities to really help the firm grow, as well as teach them the importance of minority women, all while working towards becoming an attorney. I should add that I was first exposed to law while working at my corporate work study job at DLA Piper. We wouldn't have been able to flourish without the amazing and challenging experiences we had at DBCR. Our stories are just a few of the many amazing journeys that students and alumni take. Tonight, we are going to celebrate the students whose journeys have not always been easy. DBCR gives students like us the opportunity to reach new heights. Mm -hmm. Vicki and I both believe that we've gone beyond what we thought was possible and are excited to see what we can accomplish. One thing we always were encouraged to do at Don Bosco is to dream big, and we're doing that. This past year has been quite difficult, not only for our DBCR community, but for the world at large. However, the school has still made strides towards excellence and success. This year, 99% of the students from the class of 2021 have already been accepted to college, which is huge. Tonight's program is an opportunity to celebrate former students, cheer on our current students, and prepare Don Bosco Crystal Ray for future students. And with your support, we'll be able to give even more students the opportunity to reach their potential. Let's make sure that we can give them the same amazing DBCR experience that we and so many others have received. Throughout the evening, there's the opportunity to donate to our scholarship fund. Tonight, we're excited to welcome you on our Give Smart platform. You'll find the options to donate on the left hand of your screen. If you and thank you so much in advance for your support. Be who you are and be it well. 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 Good evening. My name is Father Michael Conway, and I am the president of Don Bosco Crystal Ray. It has been my pleasure for the past six years to serve in this capacity at one of the best kept secrets in the DMV, and it shouldn't be. During my time here, I've been blessed in so many ways to be part of this school and community, especially due to the dedicated board of directors, our amazing faculty and staff, our students and their families, our corporate partners, and our very generous and supportive benefactors. They have all been a positive impact in my life, and I pray God blesses each and every one of them in a special way. Thank you all so very much. For those of you who know me, I would much prefer that we could all be together in person, especially since this would be my last Don Bosco scholarship celebration as president. I know that moving our celebration virtually was the safest decision, and so we are pleased to have so many of you joining us from all over the DMV and the country. Thank you for joining us this evening. I'd like to start things off by introducing a very important friend and supporter of DBCR. 
His Eminence Cardinal Gregory. We are blessed to have him as the Chief Shepherd of the Archdiocese of Washington. He is deeply committed to Catholic education and to ensuring that a Catholic education is accessible to all. He is truly a great friend and champion of the school. Your Eminence, thank you. My dear friends, I am very pleased to be with you for your annual scholarship celebration. It is a joy to gather virtually to celebrate the good work you have accomplished at Don Bosco Cristo Rey. As you always have, but in a special way, throughout this pandemic, as school leadership, corporate partners, alumni, faculty, and staff, you have delivered in so many needed and uplifting ways for our students. Your continuing partnership is greatly appreciated by our families. On behalf of all of the grateful people of God in the Archdiocese of Washington, I would like to personally express my deepest gratitude to you for your dedication and support of Don Bosco Cristo Rey. Thank you for accompanying our students and assisting them in ways that are instructive, practical, and supportive. Each of you celebrating with us is greatly needed to carry out our mission at Don Bosco Cristo Rey. Our students are trying to succeed in the midst of a transitioning from adolescence to young adulthood during a global pandemic. They are depending on the steadiness of your compassionate presence, as well as your experience and wisdom to continue to guide them to excellence. This virtual celebration provides us with a moment to applaud our students from diverse backgrounds, cultures, and talents. This celebration is an opportunity to renew our friendship and demonstrate our intention to continue to love and care for our neighbor in our students and our community during this time of rapid change. Thank you for all that you are doing. Together we pray for the continued good health and success of our Don Bosco Cristo Rey students, their families, and entire school community. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Cardinal Gregory. We look forward to seeing you at our Baccalaureate Mass in June. Once again, it is a pleasure to be here with you tonight, live from Don Bosco. We're excited to share with you what makes Don Bosco so special. We're all eager to be moving beyond the pandemic. It's been a long and hard 15 months, but I would be remiss if I did not reflect upon this past year and its effect on our country, our community, and especially our students and their families. The pandemic has disrupted the lives of millions across the country. For many, the pandemic has impacted us personally, either through illness and or the death of family members or friends. For others, the pain has been felt due to economic and financial hardship. Because of the pandemic, our civic conversation has shifted to one centered around resilience. Many are now prioritizing their lives around such issues, such as health and safety, education and adaptation to change. Don Bosco Cristo Rey, however, has been advocating these issues since our inception with our students at the center of them all. During this crisis over the past year, many of our students have had to make some challenging adjustments. Some have had to take on the care of their siblings and manage their siblings' virtual learning so that the parents can go to work. Others had to take on additional jobs to bring extra household income. Others have found ways to volunteer in their community. All of this while staying on top of their studies. This is what I call resilience. And yet, while some of us have been blessed to press pause in our lives, our students have not been afforded that luxury. No matter what, they have had to continue to work extra hard at protecting their health and safety, pursuing their education, and preparing for college and beyond. I am proud to say that our students have risen to the challenge. 
Just last Friday, we celebrated our seniors at college signing day, where they announced their college commitments for next year. It was a joyous and emotional day as we celebrated this milestone event, knowing how much harder these students had to work this year. Tonight, we celebrate what makes the school special while raising vital scholarship support. This support, along with our corporate work study program, allows the school to continue to, to operate and we're forever grateful. I now like to get us started by sharing with you some of the ways that our students and our school are so special. Before we get started, I'd like to thank tonight's sponsors. You are helping our students who are working tirelessly to achieve their dreams, whatever they may be. Thank you. Don Bosco Cristo Rey is a Catholic college preparatory school for young men and women from the Washington DC area who have the need and the motivation. I really feel like Don Bosco can give you what you need, especially if you were in a situation like me where you might not have been able to afford a very like high or expensive Catholic education. I came here because I really wanted a smaller environment. I wanted you know, to be able to have connections with a smaller group of people. I wanted to be able to practice my faith at the same time. And this just seemed to check everything off my list. Our school, we have the four pillars, the four Fs. Uh, faith, family, future, and fun. You know, we strive to help, you know, each other and to become uh, the best version of ourselves. And we challenge each other. I think that's what sets them apart. It's that commitment to growth and that commitment to being courageous day to day and knowing that it'll get them somewhere ultimately and hopefully closer to whatever it is they hope to achieve in their futures. I'm really proud of myself because I've been able to raise my GPA more than I ever thought I would. I saw how my older siblings went to college and I knew that that's something that I definitely wanted to do and I, if I could, I wanted to push myself to surpass what they did. So I came back to Don Bosco because I wanted to give back um, to a school that gave so much to me um, throughout my high school career. It, it made me want more um, for myself and my future. Don Bosco being the school that it is, you know the teacher, the teacher knows you, and the teacher has the effort and dedication that allows for them to really progress our education. It could be from the teachers to the janitors to everybody. They give you so much attention. They make you feel like you're worth something and they make you feel like you're very valuable. The community, the Salesian education, and the work study program combined to create this experience that can be game changing for a student and can put them on a trajectory that is very different from the trajectory they were on. We consider ourselves successful when our graduates sons and daughters no longer qualify to come to Don Bosco Cristo Rey. Yes, we want our alumni to stay engaged with us, but we want to make sure that we do everything possible to help them break the cycle of poverty so that their sons and daughters aren't enrolled in our school 15, 20, 30 years later. 
Wow, watching that and being here in the library brings me back to my time as a student. Doesn't it feel like it wasn't that long ago, Mia? I know. It reminds me of how much we learned at DBCR and how much of that applies to what we're doing now. I know that at DBCR, through my classes and job team, I had the opportunity to grow and gain a voice. It gave me my wings to fly and develop my talents. It's so much of a part of why I'm a social worker now. That's so beautiful. My time at NASA was really special as well. I know when I got to college, my job experience really helped me. It opened my eyes at a young age to the corporate world. Our supervisors were more than just supervisors. They were mentors. We're excited to give you a peek into the corporate work-study program, another key piece of what makes Don Bosco so special. Their corporate work-study program supports young men and women of color with a traditional educational foundation plus a practical work experience. It's really a dynamic combination. Since we require all of our students to participate in the work-study program, what you will see over time is that our students not only grow in terms of the skills, but also in terms of their confidence and their maturity. The CWSP program really allows for you to better yourself and make yourself from being an average Joe to like someone that stands out in a positive way. Being at the Corporate Work Study Program, they are getting four years of experience in the corporate setting and they have more skills than most college graduates when they're going into their internship jobs. We have youngsters working at Georgia University. The youngsters working basically at, at different you know, banks. The youngsters working in huge law firms. They really are getting experiences far more in the business world because they're, they're, they're mentored, they're, they're taught, and they basically give responsibility. They'll get everything from how to shake hands, how to communicate, how to run reports on an Excel, how to use Word. The students do filing for us electronically and in paper format. They also do a lot of research on the computer. Bridge to Success really develops those fundamental skills that students need when they're in the workplace. A firm handshake, good eye contact, confident um, in themselves and what their abilities are really projects them to come off as very strong interns and then later participants in the workforce. They seem to get the applicants to know that it's a corporate work study program, program school, it's part of the mission. And you could tell that as soon as they walk in, they're like, we're here to learn, we're here to kind of get something out of it. This is not just hours we're trying to accrue. They're learning soft skills, hard skills, you know, skills of just professional networking um, with everyone around them. It's, it's uh, wonderful because the students are gaining so much experience for their future. It's our future generation. And here as a business, we're also receiving great help and getting those jobs that we need done. I think that piece of the Don Bosco Pastoria experience is what makes both the school different, but also makes their execution successful. Let's give a shout out to all of our corporate work study partners. Don Bosco's education and financial model is so dependent on them. I know we have a lot of our job partners and supervisors watching tonight. Thank you. Thank you for being our greatest cheerleaders, whether you've been a job partner since the school start, or if you're a new partner, or even if you're thinking about becoming a job partner. Your investment and interest at the, in the students at Don Bosco means everything. If you are interested in becoming a job sponsor, please reference tonight's digital program, which can be found on the left hand of your screen. We now have the great opportunity of introducing you to two seniors, Anne and Vanessa, who are going to share with you their experience at DBCR. Definitely coming to Bosco and with the friends I've made, we've definitely pushed each other to reach higher points that we've ever met. Sophomore year, I worked at a new place called WSSC Water. I really learned that adults and teenagers can kind of find some way to connect. It may intimidate you, but what I learned with my workplace is that they were really happy to always see me, and it kind of showed me how sometimes 
you can kind of just speak. I was definitely not as outgoing as I was before I had come here. And because of the people I've met here, I've definitely been able to branch out and I really like that about myself because I feel like I have grown in that aspect. And with my friends here, we mess around a little, but like we do it in a way where we're pushing each other. So I've definitely been getting first honors ever since I had come to Don Bosco and then I've definitely been getting principal's honors more when I was here. So I was definitely proud of myself for pushing myself to that limit. When it comes to Vanessa, she impressed me in many ways. And if I was going to talk about Vanessa, I would not have enough time. If you talk to her one in one in one and you see how deep you know, her faith is, how deep her knowledge is, and how compassionate and loving and caring uh, she is, especially when it comes to her family. In the past two months ago, three months ago, uh, within two weeks, she lost her loving grandmother and also uh, her uncle. But she still managed to make principles this. And for me, I said to myself, uh, how can you know a young person who is 17, 18 years old, you know, having all those things going in her, in her life and able to do all those things? That's because she has she has a mind. When she puts her mind into it, something, and she's well, I'm gonna get this done, and no nothing is going to stop it. My relationship with Mixed with Swain has been really great. I think the way we bonded was I started to really have an interest in reading and I read this book called The Poet X. I was writing poems at the time because I was kind of going through a lot of different emotions and it was the way I was expressing it. And after school I would kind of like show her the poems I would write and she would, you know, tell me like, oh this sounds really good, you should add this to it. And then we started to talk more about books and she even showed me my first book by a Haitian author who was actually a girl like my mom who was born there and immigrated here. Anne is wonderful. She was my student in her 10th grade and 11th grade year and she grew so much over those two years and found a kindred spirit and it allowed her to see her own value and her own voice in a way that was new to her. Sometimes she would come and share poems that she had written with me and it was always such a privilege to hear her words. And then as time went on, she began to just share them with other people. And I think that growth and confidence and that willingness to be courageous and that willingness to connect with people outside of the DBCR community and to lead wholeheartedly, those are quintessential qualities of a DBCR student. Good evening, everyone. I'm Rich Dumay, Chairman of the Board of Don Bosco Cristo Rey. It's a pleasure to be with you here tonight. Thank you, Anne and Vanessa, for sharing your stories and congratulations on your college commitments. One of the things that drew me to Don Bosco is that we are specifically designed to close the achievement gap for students from under-resourced communities by providing career and college opportunities through our innovative education model. Students at Don Bosco gain the confidence needed to be themselves and, to quote St. Francis de Sale, be who they are and be it well. We've heard about the corporate work study program and its role in the financial model of the school. Another critical piece is scholarship support. Every student who comes to Don Bosco needs a $5,000 annual scholarship. With nearly 400 students, that's very significant. Last year, Don Bosco launched a $10 million scholarship campaign to fund 200 annual scholarships for the next 10 years. We are so grateful for Scott Brickman and Raul Fernandez who chaired this campaign and the rest of the campaign executive committee. Because of their leadership and guidance, we've raised nearly $9 million. Thank you to our donors who have very generously supported the campaign. Recognizing that we still need to cover the remaining 200 students annually, we are excited to launch this evening the Don Bosco Scholarship Society. While Don Bosco has been in the practice of securing four-year commitments for several years, the new Scholarship Society will formalize this 
recognizing donors who make a commitment to fund a student's scholarship gap over the course of his or her high school experience, either with a one-time gift of $20,000 or a commitment of $5,000 a year over four years. When joining the society, you will be connected with an incoming freshman class and through meaningful interactions throughout their career, together we will grow from the first day of classes through their graduation. Over the years, my wife Nicole and I have had the pleasure of meeting many students. We've been so impressed by their drive, dedication, responsibility, and motivation. True grit. We have joined the, so the Scholarship Society, and I ask you to consider joining along with us. Click the Join the Scholarship Society button on the left side of the screen now. Later, more information is available in the digital program. The Society is going to be a critical source of ongoing revenue for the school. I hope others will consider joining us as we officially launch, launch the program this evening. Donors and the Corporate Work Study Program is the reason why we're able to continue doing what we do, which is engaging under-resourced students' communities in a quality college preparatory education. It wouldn't be without their support that we could keep this building running. All of our families um, need to meet a financial uh, guideline or a financial standard in order to be able to be eligible. And both the student and the family need to be able to demonstrate a real desire and motivation to access a college education and launch into a professional career. What provides the revenue for our school is really the work-study program, but also the, the support that we receive from the donors. That's about a $5,000 scholarship gap that we need to raise in order to provide each student with that education. So it really is the student doing the vast majority of the work, the parents putting in their buy-in, the corporate community and our work partners supporting the work that they do, and donors covering that gap $5,000 scholarship. And of course, then we try to raise some other monies. It's an important part of this event tonight, some other monies to make sure we can cover that, that last gap they need, sometimes up to $5,000 to make sure a child, a youngster stays in school. I've got many good things. It's a partnership. Frankly, the results are, I'd say, phenomenal. They're phenomenal. For us, scholarship support is essential. I am persuaded by Father John that this is the one of the best investments we can make. I think one of the things we're all struggling with now, right across the globe, is how do we emerge from the pandemic? And what does our new normal look like? We have a very fine academic program, but it would always benefit from um, more resources to support things like college counseling, special education needs, technology training. Because of their giving, we are able to provide salaries for our wonderful, amazing teachers. And because we can provide those salaries, then our students feel, have a place where they feel loved and can come and feel safe. Um, and so it's truly because of them that we're able to continue growing and continue providing the resources to our students. You know, I've been involved with Don Bosco for many, many years. And every year, because of my commitment to Father Steve and Father Mike and the board and others, I made a commitment myself to make sure that it was not just somebody else's nickel. My nickel also counted. Every year I give $5,000 which I know is a difference between what the jobs and other things pay for, and it's the last bit to make sure a freshman or a sophomore or junior or senior stays at Don Bosco. So now my chance to ask you to the same. Can you think about a particular gift that you could give to allow a student to remain in Don Bosco? So we're not all together, but we're excited about saying, I'm part of that team. I I'm a member of this community. I'm part of the family, and the family has obligations. And here's my donation to make sure that students who are deeply deserve the help are helped by me. That's the gift tonight. Hope you'll give whatever you can. 
Thanks for your support. Thank you, Father John. Your investment in our students speaks volumes. Thank you for all that you've done for the school as a board member, a donor, and a, jo a founding job partner. I join Father John in asking for your support. Will you help us reach our goal of providing every student who comes to Don Bosco with a scholarship? Please donate now. Collectively, this evening, we have the power to give the gift of a Don Bosco education to hundreds of students. I wasn't gonna say wow, but wow. Thank you all for your support. Missy Foy from our auxiliary board. Tim Dodds, a former Don Bosco employee. Thank you, Tim. Laura Lynn and Peter Lee with a commitment to join the Scholarship Society. Thank you. Liz Hughes with FMS, a job sponsor and Ryan G Zimmerman, another auxiliary board member. Thank you, thank you all. This is a program that works. When a Don Bosco Cristo Rey student graduates from college, they not only have the backing of a solid education, but they also have the career experience that sets them apart from so many of their peers. Since Bom Don Bosco was founded, we've seen 729 graduates accepted to college. I'd now like to introduce you to some of Don Bosco's proud alumni. When I first sat in the seats of uh, many of the Don Bosco students now, I felt like my life was changing. Um, it was really a life-altering experience to go through a Cristo Rey curriculum. I truly felt that my time at Don Bosco Cristo Rey was very impactful. I don't think I would be in the place I am today if it wasn't for Don Bosco. I think going into college, I was prepared at a completely different level. What makes Don Bosco Cristo Rey a special place is that it's not only the care for your academic career, but they also truly care about the person you'll be in the future. Don Bosco really made me want more for myself. It really sort of opened my world to, to more opportunities. It sort of opened my eyes to the corporate world through the corporate work study program. It, it made me feel like that was something that was attainable for me. I have a great deal of love for this school. I think this is a place where I grew and flourished in a way that I don't think I would have done at a public school. Here, I wasn't just a number. I was like an actual person and the whole person was valued. I wasn't just like a statistic somewhere. As far as academics went, I realized that I could keep up with pretty much anybody in college. I was nervous that because I came from a smaller school, maybe I wouldn't excel in college. And not only did I excel, but I was a leader in my college campus because of being a Cristo Rey kid. I thoroughly enjoyed my corporate work study um, time, and I literally use the skills that I gained during that time every day since I have been a working professional. Personally, I was a very shy student, very introverted, wasn't confident in my abilities at the time go in my own professional career. I'm more confident in my abilities. I have a better sense of how institutions work. I thought it was such a great thing to learn independence. You know, my manager, she rages about this all the time. She's like, I don't understand how more schools don't have this. The lessons, the endurance, the values that I learned from the uh, Cristo Rey curriculum and model just propelled me forward and made me that much better of a person, of a student, and of a professional. We speak from personal experience about how we grew at DBCR and how we've applied that to our lives. Can you help provide the gift of a Don Bosco education to future students? Don Bosco just accepted the class of 2025 and there will be a hundred new freshmen starting this fall, all needing a scholarship. Please consider donating now. Wow, and the donations continue to come in. Ooh, 
Oh, they're rolling it up. Yay. Thank you to Seton and Grant Gardner, founding junior board members. Thank you to Karen Salmeron, class of 2011. Thank you, Karen. Girl, you killing it. We heard you having a whole party down Georgetown. Like, yes, Karen. <laughs> Hoy sexa. <laughs> um, Jennifer and Scott Umasella, thank you. Thank you so much. Wow, another alumni, Erica Mendoza, class of 2014. Go Wolfpack. Noelle Meekins, awesome. This is, this is great. This is really good. Courtney and Carrie Moon, thank you so much. Kathleen McGuan, you are so awesome. Oh my goodness, Ms. McGuan, I love you. Like, you came <laughs> through, Ms. McGuan. Like, thank you so yes. much to all our donors. <laughs> this is so amazing to see the support for our students. I know how powerful it is to have that community as a 14 or 15 year old. Your support is encouraging those students and future students to come, to come, to continue working hard in school and at their corporate jobs. Whenever we're back at school, like we are this evening, it reminds us of our time at DBCR and specifically why we wanted to go here. I know my parents wanted me to go here because they valued a Catholic education. No matter the reason, one thing is the same though. Everyone graduates with a college acceptance and the confidence needed as we go to college and beyond. We'd now like to show why others find a Don Bosco education important and how it impacts not just the student, but our whole community. So when Marcus and Nicholas was preparing to um, find a high school, Miss Fox came to the school and was talking about Don Bosco, and I was just, oh, completely thrilled with what I was hearing. I love the opportunity that it presented, and so it became point on for me. For young people, I'm willing to work hard for what I want. I'm not just sitting around and have somebody hand me over a piece of bread. I'm willing to work, to work hard and to get what my parents did not get. That is, for example, on high school diploma, a college you know, degree. Our students and our families come to us looking really for the same thing. A good college preparatory education that is centered in good values and character building, where their young person is safe and feels respected enough to bring their full selves to the classroom. A good number of our students will be the first in their families to graduate from high school. For a large number of our students, they will be the first in their families to graduate from college. That alone, uh, you know, kind of tells you that our school really makes a difference. When my parents came up to me and they were like, seriously, like, if you want to go somewhere in your life, you, know, you have to start doing better. And they recommended me to go to Don Bosco. And that's why I actually started, like, actually started learning and started paying attention to class. And they just keep telling me the same thing to, like, keep going forward. This school is different. This school is special. This school will make you reach your objective in life. And that's, that's like, it's an advantage that we should take. My parents, specifically my mom, really wanted me to have a, a private school education. And so she tried her hardest to, to find a school that was affordable um, and close to where I live. And having two parents who immigrated here from El Salvador, um, and they just want to give you a better life than they had. And, and I mean, I couldn't say no to an opportunity that would ultimately set me up for success. It was changing the history of my family in that for the very first time, I was going out into the professional world in a way that I had never seen anybody in my family do it. And I was learning that I could do it. Despite having very little experience in the professional world, I quickly learned that it was possible and the corporate work study experience taught me that. My dear friends, Together we can assist our students who want to provide a better future for themselves and for their families. We have the power, as Laura Lynn and Father John referenced earlier, to change the trajectory of a child's life and those of their families for the better. Now more than ever, we need your help. Due to the pandemic, we have had the loss or suspension of 50% of our job teams, resulting in an increased need for scholarship support. 
We've also seen more than 60 families who, because of the pandemic, are unable to pay their portion of tuition. Again, the need for your support. No, I know that our local Salesian community, our province, and other Salesian works have donated, and I hope that you were willing to be doing so also. Please consider joining our new scholarship society or making a gift. Every gift makes a difference. We are only able to do this with your help. I know, although I know there are a good number of friends watching us this evening, I, as the president, have the prerogative to do some shout outs, and so I'll do so right now. Claire and Raymond Wersch, hi Claire, hi Ray. Teresa Soto, thank you so very much. Charles and Siobhan Abel, thank you. Another Scholarship Society member, thank you for stepping up. Ricardo and Treaty Chapa, welcome to the neighborhood. Deirdre Robinson, wow, thank you. And to the members of the Kavanaugh Guild from the Christ Child Society, the best guild in the Christ Child Society, Thank you for all you do. As you give tonight and throughout the year, you are making a lasting and direct impact on the lives of students, their families, and future generations to come. You are investing in our students. You are investing in future leaders. You are investing in the next generation. And your investment is making a difference. If you'd like to change somebody's life, if you'd like to make it so that they can be successful, not just for a short time, with a meal on the table, but for a long time, if you'd like to make a difference so they can go off to further education, this is the program, this is it. You know that you're really supporting a person, like you can see and feel that impact right away. And you're supporting a person who's really working on their own behalf and on the behalf of their community and their family. I feel so passionate about Don Bosco because of two things. One, education, and the second is opportunity. Uh, and there's no finer institution that combines those two, in my opinion. I think it's a worthwhile investment because we're really educating the leaders of the future. And these are young men and women who really deserve a good, strong, spiritually based opportunity. It's a cycle of success that has been going on a long time and our relationship will thrive and be sustainable because of the fact that they have proven that they do have some special sauce that gets these kids ready for life. There's a lot of places where you can spend time, money, and effort, and there's rarely the data to support how well the organization performs its mission. And I think that's one of the things Don Bosco Cristo Rey does a great job, uh, and the metrics are undeniable that they're making a difference in these young people's lives. I think what is so special that I say is I have yet to meet one corporate work study sponsor who hasn't said that they've received so much more than they've given. Having that student there, an inquisitive student who will share a whole lot, it's just been an incredible reward. And again, I, I credit the school and the kind of students that they draw and combine that with the great infrastructure they provide that I could not have think of another program that could match that type of uh, home run. I remember calling the students, they didn't know me. I called them out of the blue and uh, I would tell them, you know, You've just received a full ride to Marymount University. Most of the times they would either, you know, drop the phone or think it was a prank call. And so I just remember the students on the other end of that line, you know, the, the joy that they had learning that their education was going to be provided for. Just tremendous. It's a whole community of people working together to make a difference. And whether you are a Long-time volunteer or short-time volunteer, you become part of the family. You're, you're, you're part of the fabric of success from a really good school. So thank you all for your generous support. It is so heartwarming to see all the donations that have come in to support this evening's event. We've received support from so many, longtime donors, new friends, corporate work study partners, student supervisors, and alumni. 
I can't tell you how much it means that our alumni are giving back to us. What a testament to their feelings about their school. So here are some of them. I mean, they're, they're just rolling in, and I'll just run through a couple. Yasmin Lewis, Jeff Franco, Carol Chow, Eric and Christina Beck from our board, Richard Lewis, Gabriel Sanchez, Jamie and Celeste Scott, and Catherine and Gabe Albernaz. Thank you all and thank everyone we don't have time to mention. We're so grateful for every gift. As Father Mike mentioned earlier, this is his last scholarship celebration as president of Don Bosco Cristo Rey. At the end of June, Father Mike will be leaving us for a new assignment as the treasurer for the Salesian province of St. Philip the Apostle. Although the Salesians are gaining a great leader in Father Mike, we are very sad to see him go. Father Mike has been a true transitional leader who believes deeply in the mission of Don Bosco. You can see it in him, how he lights up when he interacts with the students. Thank you, Father Mike, for your leadership, for your guidance, and for bringing your great Salesian spirit to everything that you do. I now invite everyone at home to raise a glass as we toast and thank Father Mike. Was I supposed to drink? I would also like to extend a special thanks to my predecessor, Laura Lynn Lee. She's now the board chair emeritus, and she's joining us from home. Hi, Laura Lynn. I hope you have a glass ready. Laura Lynn, you have been amazing, guiding us through our scholarship campaign and so much of the pandemic, including Father Mike's uh, situation when he was stuck in Italy for the first two months of the pandemic. Under your leadership, the school and students grew and flourished. Your passion for the students translated into action. We are so grateful for your generosity and your endless commitment to the school. Again, I invite everyone at home to raise a glass. Thank you, Laura Lynn. Vicki and Mia, thank you for spending your evening with us. You are incredible young women. We are thrilled for all you have accomplished and look forward to learning how you continue to make your mark in the world. And thank you all for joining us from home. Don Bosco cannot exist without you and your support. Now, in closing, I'd like to close with, uh, by introducing Ruthie Hernandez, who will leave, leave us with a beautiful song that she's prepared specifically for this evening. Thank you, Ruthie, and good night, everyone. Hi, my name is Ruthie Hernandez. I'm a senior at Don Bosco Cristo Rey, and I'll be singing Godspeed. It's 
a free world You look down from where you came from Sometimes So you have this place to go Always Thank you.